Yeah, so uh, the rest of us, Rikita, Winifred, Jessica, uh, oh, please, you can also turn on your videos as well. Okay, so I've typed our topic for uh, our topic um, for today in the chat. I'll just retype it just for those who are joining us now to see this. And we want to talk about uh, self-assessment, uh, not the tax, yeah, but um, self-assessment when it comes to um you as a person yeah so maybe um can i can anyone volunteer maybe to share what they understand by this particular term like when you hear self-assessment what 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 comes to your mind um yeah hi hi everyone i think um when we talk about self-assessment we are really thinking about you know self-evaluation you know just sitting down to evaluate yourself according to maybe some goals that you had set for yourself. You know, it's just, you know, taking some time off to just, you know, go back and, and actually assess yourself and your results and your progress and then compare maybe uh, to, to, that, to the goals that you initially set for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Thanks a lot. Um, one more person want to share with self-assessment, what comes to your mind? Uh, hi everyone hi so yeah, uh, yeah i think uh in terms of self-assessment uh i think uh, what came to my mind is that you have to always criticize yourself to be better <laughs> so i think maybe it's a way of uh, criticizing yourself and so uh you would uh i think it's a uh, kind of motivative because uh uh, you have uh, some standards and you want to um, reach them so you are you try to be better for yourself so uh, I think you have to uh, be uh, your own criticizer and um, and uh, you have to be it's my, my opinion but I think you have to be harsh with yourself in uh, uh, terms of you know uh, achieving your goals uh, is uh, something, but uh, it's not always criticizing. Uh, you have to always uh, ass uh, assess yourself, and uh, because uh, when you analyze uh, your moves, what you did in uh, doing your, um, I don't know your career, but for example, you have a goal and uh, you are trying to uh, achieve it, so you have to uh, monitor yourself, analyze yourself, and see. Okay, uh, these are the moves that I. Uh, have done and uh, I have to do this or that and uh, okay I did a wrong here these are I think uh, when, when uh, you say self-assessment it, it's what came to my mind yeah yeah thank you so much Afidi yeah I agree with um with both of you what you've said it's pretty much um very similar um so to me I would say self self-assessment would be making um and like Sepid was saying, you know, so sort of like critiquing yourself, you know, say maybe judging yourself, but giving yourself more like a realistic um judgment. Yeah. So I think it's good, to, you know, we always talk about uh, speaking to ourselves positively and things like and things like that. But I think it's also good to be able to have a realistic judgment of um uh, of how of how you are or how you're doing things yeah and um i think it's just important like for example if we're talking about uh when it comes to work and, and being able to self-assess yourself so for example i would say thinking about um knowing that okay this is the work that i'm supposed to be doing yeah and just you know even before someone uh you know we always talk about uh, feedback and things like that but even before someone comes to tell you that you know you're not doing something well or you're doing something well i think it's good to also have that um that realistic judgment you know you know uh, especially you know we are we are all working uh remotely yeah but you can take um a self-assessment of yourself 
okay, I might actually, if I say I'm going to be here, let's say for four hours, I might actually working for the four hours or I might actually working for the eight hours. Am I might actually um giving my my best, you know, and what I'm doing, or am I, you know, am I a bit um lax, you know, when it comes to certain things? Yeah, so I think it's important because it will show you um areas where you're supposed to improve yeah because sometimes you can uh i think yesterday there was uh, something that i was trying to work on but you know i i thought about it and i was you know telling myself but i've, I've taken too long to do this this very simple um this very simple task why am i taking too long you know to get it done you know so maybe i'm like okay maybe it's because of the back and forth you know i'm trying to find more life but then he's busy and then i have to wait and then somebody comes and i go to something else but it's like a very simple thing that should be done um very fast so it's just good to to have that self-assessment you don't think okay um this task which i'm not supposed to be taking this long how can i make sure that if it's supposed to take a uh, maximum a day or two days, yeah, how can I make sure that it actually takes two days and does not go into one week or the next week? Yeah. So I think um it's something that can help us, you know, in our work because you're able to see where you're not doing so well and then improve. And not even just I think work, I think even um uh, personally you know in your own personal life you're able to give a realistic judgment of you know where you're at um you know if it comes maybe to finances this is what I can spend on this is what I cannot spend on this is what I can afford right now this is what I cannot afford right now or knowing this is what I can spend my time on right now and this is not what I, this is maybe something I shouldn't spend my time on, you know, like I'll give an example, you know, if you're a student, um, you know, maybe you cannot, um, I remember like when in, in college, like you cannot uh, spend maybe like a whole day uh binging on series or something like that because you know that you have to study so you know you have to have that realistic uh, judgment that you know at this point in my life this is what I can spend my time on and this is what I cannot spend my time on and uh, yeah so anyone else can can feel free to share about uh, self-assessment self and how you know, specifically um, how it can help us develop uh, professionally um, in our work. Yeah, being able to, like we say, to critique ourselves, being able to judge ourselves and be able to see, um, you know, like where we lie. Yeah, professionally. So anyone else can uh, feel free to share. And today I would, I would actually want to hear from some new people, Cheryl and Rikita. Yeah, I would want to hear your thoughts as well. well uh, I would like to add something to this as well. Mm -hmm. uh, like for yeah. self-assessment, which can help us develop professionally. Uh, like uh, do, uh, if we do self-assessment, it will help uh, to assess our own strengths what are strengths and what are weaknesses uh, like we can assess them and it help us to like improve the areas uh, like on which areas we need to like focus more on like what are our weaknesses how can we improve them and along yeah. with that like in self-assessment we can take feedbacks from other people as well while yeah. working yeah, yeah like you know uh, like the constructive feedback from others uh, also can help us to like improve and develop professionally and along with that I think self-assessment also help us to become more productive you mm. know like uh, just as you said like yesterday you were uh, like took so much time to just complete a simple task so I think like if we do self-assessment so we become more aware of the things you know like when we tend to procrastinate more uh, so if we do self-assessment, so we are like, you know, conscious when doing the other things or we are distracting from the work we should be doing. So self-assessment help us in uh, all those things, like tackling all those things and focus on our work so we can do our uh, like work on time and don't yeah. distract. 
all those things helps us i think develop not only professionally but personally as well like yeah. it helps to maintain our self discipline as well so that's it i think for my side yeah thank you so much rikita thank you for sharing thank you thank you all right uh someone else can go ahead and and share their thoughts um I think I, I'm not, you, everyone has already explained what self-assessment is. Um, I'm just, just going to uh, give an example of how I do self-assessment. Um, yeah. For me personally, self-assessment is more of a, um, it's something you do with your, like you spend time with yourself. It's more of like a meditation kind of task to me. So like every day you do, by the end of most days anyways before you go to bed you always have quiet moments with yourself while you're lying down or something so to me I think this is the time that maybe it doesn't have to be a tedious task that whereby you have to sit down right with pen or something but it's something that I've implemented in terms of um, just my everyday doing so I I tend of um I tend of I tend to do it like a meditation kind of exercise mm -hmm. So I just assess how the day has gone, what has been good about the day, what hasn't been good, what can I learn from today that I can mm -hmm. take into tomorrow, what can I drop today. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I have kids and I always do mantras with them and I always tell them that, you know, as humans, we always strive to be better today than we was yesterday. So every day before you, you, know, you sleep, that's the time you need to assess because your brain like brings back your day to you, what yeah. went wrong, what happened. Mm -hmm. So that's the time you really now start taking out what's important to you and what isn't. And when you do sleep, your brain somehow manages to erase all the things you don't want to remember. And then it will keep all the things you'd like to remember. So um, to me, I think self-assessment is just a daily meditation <clears throat> task that you do with yourself it is, it's, it's something that yeah you implement and then um to me based on this uh, mindset training that we're having i feel like it is the it is built up from all the other topics we've learned before about growth mindset harnessing mm -hmm. our potential you know um overcoming doing overcoming challenges all these mm -hmm. things you need to be able to do them you only do them when you do have you know, this level of self-awareness about yourself, being true to yourself anyways. And it can only come when you have moments with yourself. If you don't have moments with yourself, then you can't really have that self-assessment um, of yourself. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you. Uh, that's actually a very good, a very good practice, you know, to be able to take time every day and, and assess the day. Um, I, there's someone who was actually telling me about, you know, having like a, a what they call it, like uh, something like a brain dump journal, you know, where like every single day they just write um, events, things that happened, um, you know, throughout the day and maybe like um, at the end of the week, or like on a Sunday when they have more time, just going through to actually assess what actually happened um, during the week. Yeah, so I think it's it's a very it's a very good thing, you know, because it kind of helps you keep uh, track of your life. Yeah, so thank you so much for sharing, Sharon. Yeah, anyone else can uh, go ahead. And then us can go ahead and share. Um, and then, do you want to share something, Winifred? Um, you guys are all welcome to share. You can feel free. Uh, sorry, I came a bit late. I didn't get the topic. Oh, Maybe okay. All right. Next week, I will be able to share. Okay, I can just type that for you. It's all right, but someone else can can go ahead and share.
Good morning. Morning, morning. Yeah, morning. Yeah. Hope you are doing good, everyone. So yes. yeah, coming to coming to the topic like self assessment. So self assessment is basically like uh, know knowing yourself. I can say like a better understanding, like how you are performing, yeah. and uh, it could be daily task and it could be like anything like how you do the work is the uh, thing that you can assess uh, yourself when you go to bed or like when you wake up in the morning i can say so mm -hmm. it's it's very important to uh, assess yourself because you know it will it will be a motivation i can say yeah. see uh, yesterday like uh, there could be something wrong or there could be something good like when you wake up in the morning and remember that yesterday i have done something some mistake so today i need to improve that so yesterday i have done something good and uh, how can i improve uh, more and more how can i uh, get uh, some appreciations uh, like compliments from uh, like uh, seniors or managers i can say so it's like uh, it's like a motivation i can say because when you don't uh, remember that like what you have done and what you need to improve uh it's it really gonna um, uh what you can say it really gonna not improve uh your um, what you can say. it really go, not not improve uh yourself and uh, you you don't you do not know your mistakes and it never going to be uh a um, it really it really not going to be a uh, realistic thing that you can uh, improve it daily so that thing is like uh, knowing your strengths and weakness so you know like um, as well as you have seen like if you want to uh, survive or uh, if you want to uh, get some job or something so definitely i can say like we need to know our strength what is our weakness like someone is good uh, someone is bad at something and someone is good at something so when you assess yourself uh like on daily basis or monthly basis or something yearly basis so you will know what is what is your strength and what is your weakness and you can improve also that and the th fourth thing is like uh, we can say that it could be uh, creating um, reasonable goals i can say yeah creating reasonable goals because see when you uh, uh, think about the goals which you cannot achieve uh like it, it cannot it, it will not work out i can say because you know like you, you need to have a realistic goals in my, your mind so that you can achieve uh by your strength uh, by your capacity i can say yeah, yeah. so setting real, realistic goals and uh, uh, getting motivated uh, in the in the morning that you where you wake up and thinking about that i've done something yesterday i have set a realistic goal like if you set a unrealistic goal uh, which cannot achieve uh, which you cannot achieve uh, so and uh, like uh, like tomorrow you will remember that i have not done anything yesterday so it's like uh, setting realistic goals also important and you need to uh, search uh, like strategies that you can develop on daily basis like there will be many things uh, where you can learn like you can learn from social media you can learn from uh, like anything like so google or anything so the thing is like uh, like uh, we we may not know everything so learning from people uh, that some like someone may post something good in the linkedin or some uh, someone may post uh, something good in instagram so like when you are into that like when you see some uh, kind of good stuff please like uh, what you can say like read them like have a so have some time and uh, like go go through that so that you can have some kind of strategies where you can develop uh, you, you we may not know everything right so yeah i can say yeah that's all thank you yeah thank you so much sukesh thank you for sharing um is there anyone else who wants to share something before we close good morning everyone when um, yeah, so for me, I would say um, 
self-assessment is just not based on us actually giving our own point of view, just going through our day. I think I agree with everything that everyone has said, but I also think that in us assessing ourselves, we have to ask others for feedback. Um, I know actually, I actually know someone who on like a monthly basis or even just having like a common conversation with others, he likes to ask um, people like, what do, what do you notice about me? Because we can't obviously notice everything about ourselves because it is, I would say it is in our nature to always think that uh, because I'm feeling a certain way and because I'm raised in this way or because it's my values, I am right. But you uh, and we, are, we no man is an island in the world and we all have to depend on each other one way or the other. So I think having that uh, second party that can come in and um, tell you what he or she notices about you that is wrong or what he or, or she thinks that you can actually change or improve on, I think is quite important because we can't judge ourselves only by ourselves. We also need other people to just step in and tell us uh, what we need to improve on, what we lack in or what we can we can actually hold close and just maintain. Because sometimes it's not only about what we do wrong or what we can do better. There are certain things where we are actually on the right pace and on the right track and we just have to hold it like close and dead to us. Yeah, that's just all I wanted to add. Yeah, thank you so much, Jessica. Yeah, that's actually a very wonderful point that we can't we can't always judge ourselves by ourselves because then we we'll always think that we are we are right in our own way. Yeah, so it's always good to to hear from someone else. Yeah, so thank you so much, guys. We'll just close our meeting here for today, and uh, I'll just share just a few reminders for us. Um. We have our training today at uh, at twelve p.m. and we are all in, we're all welcome. We're all invited, and let's also please invite um, anyone who you know, a student or someone who is uh, pursuing an accounting uh, career, uh, or in this in this line of profession. They are always very welcome to join the training session. And then also another thing is that. Um, Please uh, let's all engage on our social media platforms. It's always great to see you guys um, engage with us on our social media platforms and always to um, get up to speed with what's happening, some things that we might not share with you, um, just to see what Mola is up to, the visits that he's doing and other other work that he's doing, you know, outside um, us coming uh, on here remotely. Yeah, and then also, it's very important for us to always make sure that uh, we always copy Mola in, in our email communication with clients. And then um, as well as uh, let's always make sure we don't share, especially um, for those of us who, you know, come into contact with client information, or it's very important that you do not share this information outside where it's supposed to be um, shared. Yeah. So when I say um, outside where it's supposed to be shared it means um, um, basically, um, you know, you even if you're working on one client, yeah, you don't share that information with another with another client, yeah. So I remember one time we're actually having either a meeting or a training, and then um, I think someone was sharing something, and they uh, mistakenly shared, you know, info, you know, when you're sharing a screen, and then it's like a uh, client's the uh, that Excel sheet that has the client information comes on the screen. So it's just very important. Um, yeah, to make sure we don't share that information outside where it's supposed to be shared. And also let's be keen on security. Um, using uh, the company emails, just make sure you're not hacked or something like that. Don't click on links that you don't um that you don't understand. Yeah. And then um the other thing is that always feel free, guys. Like if you have a win, something that you'd want to share, um, you're always welcome to share it with us. Yeah, we want to celebrate with you. And then also, uh, 
also let's make sure that all the documents that we're working on every documentation that we're working on that has to do with morocco that has to do with the clients let's always make sure that we save that information in sharepoint yeah always make sure you share it in sharepoint i mean you save it in sharepoint or onedrive yeah so that it can easily be accessed um uh by anyone yeah so if you if you you know if you're sharing maybe a document with someone you don't really have to uh especially if it's like a final document you don't really have to like attach it or something like that go to sharepoint uh, put it in sharepoint and then share the link from sharepoint i think it's also a good practice because it kind of encourages us to to always remember you know to put the documents in sharepoint so it's just very important and also onedrive you know just so that you know just in case you're also not around um you know we don't have to keep calling you or oh, where is this where is that but all this information all this information has to be um centrally stored so that it can be easily accessible to anyone who needs it yeah and i think that's it uh, for today and uh, have a wonderful day guys thank you Linda. thank you Linda.